<coughs> right. So in your 2009 paper, this is the only numerical which is completely different from all of the numericals of all the years. So here they've given you Henry's constant numerical. Earlier we've been doing Van Toff's factor, osmotic pressure, molecular weight, but here this is a bit different. Let's see the numerical. So in 2009 paper, as I said, along with the numerical, you have also definitions. So let's see this question. So what is meant by colligative property or molality of the solution? Very simple question, one mark each. So colligative properties, a detailed experience is given in video number 24 please watch that and molality of the solution it's numbered or given and uh, labeled as video number 5 in your playlist so simple basic definitions you can go through that definitions and let us come back to the numerical here in this particular numerical <coughs> what is what are we supposed to find out here I have to find out just see what concentration of N2 should be present in a glass of water okay at room temperature i have to find the concentration that is no, nothing but i have to find the number of moles of nitrogen in the particular uh, how much uh, number of moles of nitrogen to be dissolved in that glass at room temperature done assuming a temperature of 25 degree a total pressure of one atmosphere and a mole so the conditions given us are uh, 25 degree temperature itself in that room pressure was one atmosphere and mole fraction of n2 in air 0.78 they've got Directly given me that 0.78 and kh is given so when kh is given what relation should you write you have to first write the formula with henry's constant we very well know the partial pressure pressure exerted by the gas and solution is directly proportional to henry's constant multiplied by its mole fraction this is what we have studied now which one we are we studying we are studying for nitrogen so i'll write this for nitrogen let's come back and see now p into what is other formula P N2 is again related. Okay, we will write this formula in this column. So P N2 is related with a formula that is P N2 is equal to <coughs> X into P total given to us and let us substitute in the formula. So given data, <coughs> given data in this particular formula. So I have to find out concentration. So X is given to us or not. See here mole fraction is given to me. X given to me is 0.78. Now what is P total? They have already given one atmospheric pressure, isn't it? See here, P total that is assumed to be one atmosphere. So nothing but 760 mm. Done. So this part I can do, not a problem. Let us come back to see. Is KH given to me? Yes, KH is given to me. That is 8.42 into 10 raised of minus 7 m by mm of mercury. This is also over. I have, I have this data also so I can easily find X of uh, N2 I can take this out and most important thing this particular value okay 760 is given this is important here here they've given us M by <coughs> mm per mercury see how am I going to use this formula Let's see. Yeah. first let us come back and calculate P N2 is equal to what is the X value 0.78 into p total is 760 mm so when i multiply i get a partial pressure of 592.8 mm okay now take this because i have to calculate i said what should i calculate i have to calculate n of n2 number of moles that is concentration of n2 take this value of partial pressure of nitrogen and substitute it here it is 592.8 is equal to how much is kh Kh is 8.42 into 10 raised power of minus uh, 7 m by mm of mercury into x of n2. Careful. Now I'm coming closer to the answer. So take this x of n2 here. Now I'm going to write a formula. Just observe carefully. This is given in mm per mercury. So I am going to take this out and we are going to write this form in this way. This also can be written 8.27 into 592.8 this form also can be written because this is directly given in mm of mercury so when i multiply x of n2 i get an answer of 49137 into minus 7 such a big number let us make it a bit smaller so i'm shifting the decimal uh, so 1234 4.99 into 10 raised power of minus 4 i can use this now x is ready now i uh, let me calculate the mole fraction so what is the formula for mole fraction x of n2 is equal to number of moles of n2 divided by number of moles of n2 plus number of moles of water 
this is what i have to find isn't it done let's come back now i already got x2 i ha uh, i have a number of moles of n2 i have to find out okay let's see in this particular thing x of n2 i've got it as 4.99 into 10 raised power of minus 4 done i have to find out number of moles of n2 that is n n2 now come back to the denominator in the denominator i said how much did we get we have got more number of moles of n2 as 4.99 raised of minus 4 that means it's the quantity of the solute is very very less isn't it they're highly dilute solutions so what can you do you can neglect n2 in the denominator n2 is very much less than n of water see the answer very less isn't it now take out that n2 so you can only pick up n of water so what is n of water let me do this here let me erase the first part okay i am doing that sum here so continuation let me number this first first is i have written this formula second i have taken this formula third i have written this data fourth i substituted okay this one okay first i took right then you can make this as fourth Mm, from where did we come? We have come from this, then we've gone here. From this sum, I've come back. Okay, I can write this also as 592. I took it here, isn't it? So this one also is a continuation of 3 only. This is all 3. Let me come back and write the fourth one. So what do we get? We have got 4.99 into 10 raised to of minus 4, which is equal to n of n2 by n of water. So water I have to still calculate. What is number of moles of water? N of water is weight by molecular weight, which is equal to <coughs> how much do they give me? They have considered one atmospheric pressure and weight of water. Okay, that is nothing but your how much they said one atmosphere mole fraction of nitrogen is 0.78 and a glass present in a glass of water. We assume it as 1000 by 18 because uh, the standard value done we get an answer of 55.5 take this answer and write here so what do i get 55.5 so n of n2 is equal to 4.9 minus 4 into 55.5 i get an answer of 276.9 into 10 raised to the power of minus 4 so this is what is your number of moles so you can include conclude your answer saying that the more uh, the, the concentration of uh, n2 should be 276.9 into inverse of minus 4 molar or okay let's see what did we do first i have written the formula then i have related the formula to this after this particular data i took this data and i've substituted in the formula and after this data i directly came to the mole fraction in mole fraction we've neglected the denominator that is solute because it is a dilute solution from that i've taken it to find out number of moles which i've got the answer as this right so let us come back and solve this 2008 paper so we are left with one more board paper that with that uh, i'm done with the solutions chapter i'll also be starting with the next chapter let's see which chapter am i going to plan to upload let's come back so in 2008 paper they've given us uh, henry's law state henry's law and correlate the pressure of a gas and its solubility in a solvent and applications of the law so applications i think you can learn applications there's nothing e easy uh, you can learn about the bends which are there given in the ncrt textbook so henry's law i've already given uh, in this particular video that is i think a video which is numbered as 52 <laughs> please watch that video for that so the application i don't think it's so difficult for you not to understand it's easy you can just do one reading from the textbook so here we have one more numerical let us see this calculate the temperature at which a solution so i have to calculate the temperature itself so which temperature is that whether it is a freezing temperature or or that is delta tf or tf let's see at which a solution containing 54 grams of glucose okay glucose 54 grams that is your w2 is given to us dissolved in 250 grams of water w1 also is given to us so let's see what should we do with the numerical i have to calculate the temperature in relation to the weight so let's come back and write the formula delta tf is equal to even kf is given to me kf into m molality this formula can be further written as delta tf is equal to kf into w2 by w1 sorry w2 by m2 into 1000 by w1 this is the formula 
so <laughs> let's come back and uh, um, what weight is given okay one a molecular weight okay we know molecular weight w1 also is given okay let's uh, substitute so here when i'm substituting kf value is 1.86 Okay, I have to write the data, isn't it? First, let me write the data. So, given data, given data is <coughs> weight of the calculate the temperature with the uh, this is solution containing so W2 weight of the solute is given to me that is 54 grams. Then, what is the weight of the solvent given to me? W1 is 250 grams. Then, so W2 is over uh, this is molecular weight of uh, glucose is 180 gram per mole. Kf is already given to me. Kf is 1.86 K mole inverse Kg. Okay. K Kg mole inverse. Now, let's substitute in the formula. So, delta Tf is equal to Kf is how much? It's given as 1.86. How much is W2? 54 grams. What is molecular weight? 180 grams. 1000 divided by w1 is 250 grams all are in grams no not a problem right so simple just when you calculate the whole thing you get an answer of <coughs> you know uh, right what do we do huh. we you will get an answer of 1.2 mole per kg so no wait one minute you should first calculate tf isn't it okay tf when i have to calculate the answer is 2.23 then yes so this 2.23 tf is over i still have to calculate t so what can i do what is the formula delta tf is equal to t naught f minus tf so delta tf is what is uh, t naught f given to us t naught f is uh, the temperature of the pure water isn't it that's your freezing temperature 273 kelvin minus your tf value which you got is your, uh, your delta tf value is 2. this is 2.23 so when you subtract delta tf you get an answer of 270.7 kelvin that's it this is your answer which they have given you they ask you to find out delta tf that is your freezing temperature because see here what temperature will it freeze so i've got an answer of 270.7 kelvin